than that somebody open up your mouth come up from the front to the back i need to hear you give god glory somebody lift up your voice if you have a testimony that god has been faithful to you god has been good to you god has kept you somebody open up your mouth and give god a praise but I am glad to be here tonight can you just look around you and tell them I'm glad to be here I'm glad come on you got to tell them with some power I'm glad to be here as you're standing on your feet can you help me bless God for this man and woman of God Apostle Wayne and Dr. Beverly Jackson help me give God praise to them my dad is here with me tonight can you help me give God praise for him now I got a question. Do I have any winners in the building tonight? Come on, let me hear the winners make some noise up in here. Yeah, can you touch about two people around you and say it's still your winning season? Come on, that's it. Touch two people around you and say it's still your winning season. If you believe that it's your winning season, somebody shout glory! Yeah! God gave me this song and somebody ought to declare out of your own mouth it's still my winning season yes I'm wondering the enemy came up against your the enemy came up against your shield the enemy came up against your name oh lord the enemy came up against your cows but i want you to know you will win 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 you will win yeah. the enemy came up against your health clap your hands clap, clap your hands clap. the enemy came up against your finances
told you. Shout like you know what God told you. And can't nobody change your mind about it. You want to open up your mouth and shout. I want you to look at somebody and tell them with power. Say, neighbor. Come on, say it with power. Say, neighbor. Say, I don't know about you. But tonight I showed up with stubborn faith. I don't care what I see that opposes what God said. I still believe God. I still believe God. I need you to get out of your seat. Run across the room. High five ten people. And say, I still believe. I still believe. I still. Come on. That's it. Tell them, I still believe. High five ten people. And tell them, I still believe. Some of y'all ain't moving. I said, get out of your seat. I said, get out of your seat. Run across the room. High five ten people. And tell them, I still believe God. I still believe God. It does not matter if he spoke it seven years ago. I still believe God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I need somebody to open up your mouth and God sent me here to make an announcement to you that tonight is not just any type of night but tonight is about to be your celebration for many of you have been waiting and laboring and I hear God telling somebody to prepare yourself because we about to party for you I said we about to I can't hear no power. I said open up your mouth and shout for about 15 seconds, I need to hear what your celebration sound like. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. You're about to celebrate your healing. You're about to celebrate your deliverance. You're about to celebrate your restoration. Everything that's been trying to stop you, you're about to celebrate because God is moving it out the way. I need somebody to open up your mouth and celebrate. About to move on, but as I was sitting, the Lord told me to tell you to do this. I need everybody to walk around. I just, I just need you to walk. I need you to walk. I need you to walk. Walk, walk, walk. I don't care where you walk to. I don't care where you walk to. I just need you to walk. I just need you to walk. I just need you to walk. The Lord said to tell you that as you're walking tonight, this is a sign to you that you're about to walk into new territories. This is your time for possession. This is your time for access. This is I need you to walk. What territory you want to enter into? Put it in the atmosphere as you walk tonight. The territory of healing. The territory. The territory of promotion. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Now on your way back to your seat. I need you to touch about five more people and tell them we about to celebrate we about to celebrate up in here we about to celebrate up in here we about to celebrate up in here it's not just any type of party but it's your party it is not just any type of celebration but it's your celebration you push through some things and you're about to celebrate you thought he did not hear you you thought he did not hear you you thought he did not hear you you thought he did not hear you, you, not hear you. but i I hear the lion of Judah, the bomb in Gilead. Telling somebody tonight, not only did I hear you, but I performed for you. You want to open your mouth and give God glory. Don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable tonight. You've been due this moment. 
what is this moment called? It's called your moment. There's a few things you're going to celebrate about tonight. And the first thing is, God says tonight, I'm about to reverse some negative situations for you. Look down your row and tell him he's about to reverse it, baby. He's about, he's about to reverse it. Under this anointing, don't you, don't you get comfortable. Don't you get silent. If you have your Bibles, do what you got to do. Turn with me to Isaiah 38, and you can work with me. Isaiah 38, verses 1 through 8. The Bible says, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer. Y'all ain't loud enough up in here. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. And I would deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. I just want to pause and tell somebody up in here tonight that tonight God is about to defend you and your household. Y'all ain't loud enough up in here. I said he's about to defend you tonight. Can you just look down your row and tell him he's defending me. He's, he's defending me. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord that the Lord would do this thing that he hath spoken. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which is going down to the sundial of Ahaz, 10 degrees backward. So the sun returned 10 degrees by which it was going down. One more time, I need you to look at somebody and say, neighbor, come on, said with power, say, neighbor, he's reversing it for you. As you can see here, Hezekiah was at a point of his life's journey where it looked like it was over for him. It looked like it was the end for him. And there's somebody up in here tonight who before you got here, you were at a point to where it seemed like it was the end for you. Your health was dying. Your peace was dying. Your family's reconciliation was dying. According to what you saw, it looked like death was all around you. But God sent me here as a messenger to tell somebody that God has commanded a reversal on your behalf. I can't hear nobody up in here. I dare you to jump up out of your seat and say reverse, 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 reverse. I don't know what target is you, but I hear God say reverse, reverse. I don't know what's about to hit you, but I hear God say reverse, reverse. I begin, I begin to look at Hezekiah. Despite how he felt and what he saw, even though he was hurt by it, because the Bible tells us that he wept sore, yet he did not allow that to affect his belief and what he knew his God could do. So in other words, even in his hurting place, Hezekiah was saying, I know what I heard, but I also know who I serve. I don't know about nobody else up in here tonight, but the God I serve can break you out of bondage. The God I serve can give you the job that you want and not the one you got to settle for. Some of y'all didn't catch that. I said he can give you what you want and 
and not what you got to settle for. The God I serve can deliver you out of the hands of your enemies. I tell you to look at somebody and tell them don't forget what God can do, baby. Don't forget what God, look at somebody else and say don't forget what God can do. And while I'm here, I want to talk to many of you because there's a lot of you in here tonight. Man has told you that you can't do this and you can't do that. You have this type of disease. Some of you up in here, you're dealing with years of bad news. Years of bad doctor's reports. Before I got here, I want you to understand that all of those may have been facts. But God sent me here to operate in my office to declare to you tonight that the facts are with man is impossible possible but the truth is with God all things are possible I just wonder if I got about 15 people who know in your spirit that it's still possible to jump up out of your seat shake somebody real good and shout it's still possible it's still come on tell somebody else it's still possible because what I want you to understand is it does not matter how bad of a predicament you are in. You cannot allow what is happening to affect your assurance that God cannot fail you. Because I just believe that the same God who brought you out the last time the same God who brought you out the last year the last season he is the same God who can bring you out this time and I just want to pause and prophesy to somebody that because your God is reversing some things for you everything in your life that is been dead uh, or near death uh, and is supposed to be prospering. Uh, God says tonight is the night uh, that is getting back up again. Uh, I said it's getting back up again. Uh, I don't know if you know it or not, uh, but there will be uh, a resurrection. Uh, I dare somebody uh, to get out of your seat uh, and shout a resurrection. Uh, he's resurrected Resurrecting your dream, resurrecting your marriage, resurrecting your health, resurrecting your vision, resurrecting your faith. You want to open up your mouth and shout resurrection. And I want you to understand that God does not care how long it's been there. The Bible tells me that when Jesus stepped on the scene and he called Lazarus, Lazarus had to get up. I need somebody to know that God is calling your name. And when God calls your name, you got to get up. High five three people and shout, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Some of y'all ain't moving. I said high five three people and shout get up, get up, get up. You ain't staying there. You ain't staying there. You don't belong there. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Give me this drummer. Give me this. Give me this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Give me that. Come on. Boom, boom. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can hear the heartbeat of somebody's destiny getting back up tonight. I can hear the heartbeat of somebody's word getting back up tonight. I want to prophesy to you that from this day forward ain't no cold blue in your house. I declare in the name of Jesus that this time around when you get up you will stay up. I said stay up. Stay up. Somebody shout up, 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 up. What I also found in this passage, 
is that not only does God reverse his negative situations for you, but after he reverses it, he then adds to you. For the Bible tells us that he told Hezekiah, I will add unto thy days 15 years. I just want to prophesy to somebody that everything uh, that the devil tried to steal from you, uh, God says tonight is the night uh, that he's adding that plus more. I said that plus more. For the Lord told me a couple of years ago uh, that whenever I restore you, uh, I don't you to restore you as the same. Uh, I don't give it back as the same. Uh, but I give you greater on top of greater. I give you double for your trouble. I need you to touch two people and shout more, 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 more. It's called recompense. But the Bible tells me in the book of Joel, I will restore to you the years that the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar have stolen from you. But here's what I need you to see. Not only are you getting your stuff back, but you're about to get your years back. I said you're about to get your years. You ought to shake yourself and shout, I want it, I want it, I want it. For every year, I was supposed to be rejoicing, but I was suffering. You're getting it back. Years you were supposed to be healed, but you were dealing with sickness. You get your years back. I need somebody to open up your mouth and shout it. That's why you gotta cancel out. When the devil try to tell you, oh, you can't get time back. Once it's gone, it's gone. You can't go back and get it. But the Lord had to tell me. He said, you can't go back. But I can go back for you. And I hear God telling somebody that tonight he's about to go back to bring it back. I don't know what show it is. But God says he's going back to bring it back. I need you to open your mouth and shout, do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Go back to last year. Go back to seven years ago. Go back to 10 years ago. The stuff I didn't know was mine. I want it, I want it, I want it. Somebody, somebody, I'm to open your mouth and shout, do it, Jesus, do it. Another thing, are you still at your party tonight? I said, are you still at your party tonight? Another thing that God has given you to celebrate about is, he says, tonight is the night that I'm about to unlock some vaults in your favor. What you got to understand is, when something is in a vault, that means it carries a lot of value. There are some things that belong to you that you were supposed to have. Some things that have been locked away and some of those things you were not aware of. But I want you to hear me when I tell you. God says, I purposely locked them away because it wasn't time yet. So I had to create situations in order for me to activate something in you. But I came bearing good news for somebody. Are you ready for your good news? Y'all ain't loud enough. I said, are you ready for your good? God says, tonight, activation complete. I said, activation complete. The vaults have been opened unto you. The vaults of abundance, growth in sales, restoration, man. 
marriage, whatever your vote represent, I'm here to tell you it has been unlocked. I need you to look at somebody and shout unlocked. Look at somebody else and shout unlocked. High five yourself and shout unlocked. Now open up your mouth and shout like you believe it. For most votes, in order for it to be opened, you have to have a secret code. And there's many of you, you're wondering, how have my votes been open? Are you ready to hear what your secret was? Y'all ain't loud enough up in here. I said, are you ready to hear what your secret was? The reason your votes have been unlocked is because your secret code was your praise. Your secret code was your thanksgiving. Is there anybody up in here who knows what it feels like to be broken, but you still praise? To be bound, but you still praise? Going through the fire, but you still praise? Down on your face, but you still praise? You want to open your mouth and shout up in here. I want to know, wow, did you praise? How did you praise? But you were going through, I want to hear what it sounded like to give God glory in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your mountain, in the midst of your wilderness. What does it sound like to still praise God? On the count of three, open up your mouth and let me hear your praise. One, two, three. Praise. I said praise him. I said praise him. You praise him when you got a week. You praise him when you were knocked down. You praise him when it looked like it was an end for you. I need you to get out of your seat and touch three people and shout unlock 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 I don't know what you needed God to unlock for you but I'm here to tell you that because you did not let your situation make you silent because you did not allow what you saw to affect what you know God says I am giving you access every door that was closed off to you it's got to be open I need you to open up your mouth and shout I got to get out of here. Everybody standing. But to sum all of this up, God sent me here to give you one word. Everybody standing. We're at your party tonight. He sent me here to give you this one word. And when I tell you this word, you got to give God praise like you know it's your portion. And after you can help yourself, I need you to get out of your seat. Run across the room, high five, ten people, and give them that same word. Are you ready for your word? I said, are you ready for your word? God sent me here to give you this one word. And that word is... Congratulations! Y'all ain't shout loud up in here. That word is congratulations. You made it, you made it. You made it, you made it. You pushed through. You labored. You fought through. You made it, you made it. You passed the test. Went through the shaking. Went through the beating, 
went through the pressing, but you made it. Congratulations. Greater, greater is here for you tonight. Tell somebody, congratulations. Now on your way back to your seat, open up your mouth and give God praise for your celebration. On your way back to your seat, open up your mouth and give God glory for your celebration. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Lift up your voice and give God glory. Honor. Give God honor. Give God thanks for your celebration. Everybody standing with your hands lifted up high. Show na na ma na 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 ma so ya ya. Oh, na 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 ma do ro ho ho si. Lift your hands, lift your hands. I see angels in here tonight. These angels have been assigned to your destiny. I don't know what has been keeping you from your celebration, what has been keeping you from entering into your congratulations. But I am here to tell you that tonight God came to break it off of your life. Many of you, you were supposed to have been in your celebration. But I stand to declare the devil can't have what's yours tonight. If you say enough is enough, I am ready to enter into my new. I am ready to enter into my celebration. With your hands lifted up high, I need you to run to this altar. Run, 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 run. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Run, run, run. Get as close to it as you can. Oh, oh, oh. He's here, he's here for your destiny. Oh, na ma na ba robo. That's it, run with your hands lifted. Get as close as you can. Every blockage tonight has got to be removed. Ay, 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 ay. Every delay tonight has got to be removed. Tonight you're going to get your full healing. You're going to get your full breakthrough. God is going to complete some things for you. So here's what I need you to do on the count of three. I want you to open up your mouth and begin to cry out to the Father. I feel the anointing of intercession. I need you to open up your mouth and begin to intercede for your destiny. If you don't know what else to say, just say everything that opposes my celebration. Tonight it breaks off of my life. It breaks off of my destiny. On the count of three, open your mouth. One, two, three. Lift up your voice, intercede. Come. Intercede. It comes down. It comes down tonight. Everything that has been a hindrance, that has been a delay, that has been all kind of show. Everything that has been stopping you from entering into your place of destiny into your place of restoration into your place of celebration tonight it breaks off of you play with fire play with fire it breaks off of you it breaks it can't hold you down can't hold you down it can't hold you down it can't hold you back it's got to let you go it's got to release you it's got to release you. Oh, yada, Every satanic attack. 
every satanic force that has been working against your manifestation. I put the blood of Jesus on it. 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 You must be stopped tonight. You must be stopped tonight. You must come to an end tonight. Say that you are a liar. And not only are you a liar, but you are defeated. You are defeated in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and if, if intercede. Pray, 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 pray. If you don't know what else to say, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your resurrection begins tonight. Your resurrection begins. Oh, Kandaba. Your resurrection begins tonight. You will get up. Get up. Get up and celebrate. Celebrate in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every plan God has for your destiny, I declare fulfillment. Fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Oh, if this unbelief has got to let you go, if this unbelief has got to let you go, if this generation of curses has got to let you go, if this wound has got to let you go, be healed, be whole, 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 in the name, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus, you will see your celebration, Lord Baba. You will see your celebration. He didn't bring you here not to burst you through. He didn't bring you here not to break you through. I declare in the name of Jesus. It's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening now. Every force of darkness, every force of darkness that is targeted you, that is targeted your celebration, that is targeted your joy, that is targeted your prosperity, that is targeted your destiny. Tonight, reverse, 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 right now, reverse. Reverse in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I feel the anointing for intercession. I feel the anointing of intercession. I need you to open up your mouth. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. If you don't know how to pray in the Holy Ghost, just say the name Jesus over and over. Open up your mouth. I feel a second wind. I feel a second wind. I feel a second wind. I see the force of darkness. I see the force of darkness that has targeted you. That has targeted you. It's been riding your back. It's been riding your back. But tonight, I declare that it is. I declare that it's over for you. It is over for you. It is over for the devil. It is over for the devil. May the wicked perish. May the wicked perish. May every attack. May it perish. May it perish. In the name. Oh, come on. In the name. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. I scatter your evil plan. I scatter your evil agenda against my life, against my destiny, against my promise. I scatter it now. I break your altar. I break your altar. I break your altar. I destroy it now in the name of Jesus. And I declare, let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. And enemies be scattered. Open up your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Roma na 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 na. So ya. We're not done yet. I 
need you to clap your hand and pray in the Holy Ghost. We're not done yet. I feel it breaking off of you. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You will have the last laugh. You will have the last laugh. It will look like what God has declared. I make the announcement, the announcement to you that the devil has got to go. I kick you out. I kick you out. I kick you out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ramane Bekosha. You cannot have God's people. You cannot have our promise. You cannot have our destiny. You cannot have it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. giving you honor for your suffering I'm giving you glory for it is your time it is your season it is your moment to celebrate and every wicked agenda that was against your celebration God said I put an end to it for before I allow the enemy to stop you I'll completely destroy him you are God's chosen his hands are upon your life God would not allow you to get this far and you don't possess what he has declared over your life so today I make the announcement to you 
you are now in your season of possession. On your way back to your seat, because I seal this in the blood of Jesus. And I declare that nothing and nobody can pull you from this place God has allowed you to enter into tonight. For when God elevates you, it is not his will that he elevate you and you come back down. You're supposed to stay there or go higher. And I declare that tonight you're going higher. On your way back to your seats, I need you to hug as many people as you can and tell them God did it for you. He, he did it for you. He has done it. He has done it. And he has done it well. God did it for you. God did it for you. He did it for you. That's it. Hug him, hug him, hug him and tell him he did it, he did it. He did it, 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 he did it. Oh, celebration looks good on you. Oh, celebration, it looks good on That's it, that's it, that's it, hug up, hug up. It looks good on you. Oh, oh, it looks, just tell somebody, tell them, look at them and say, say, it looks good on you. Celebration looks good. Tell somebody, it looks good on you. Tell somebody, yeah, it looks good on you. That's it, tell somebody else, tell them, say, it looks good on you. I'm talking about joy. It looks good on you. I'm talking about elevation. It looks good on you. That's it. Tell somebody. Tell them. Say, it looks good. Now you want to point to yourself. Lay hands on yourself and declare it. Say, it looks good on me. Say, it looks good on me. It looks good on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As we're under this anointing. Everybody under the sound of my voice as we're under this anointing. I don't know what word in my message hit the spot for you, but you say this word was just for me. This night was just for me. Everybody under the sound of my voice real quickly. I want you to get a seed, a $300 celebration seed in your hand. There's many ways for you to sow. However you choose to sow, I need you to get it and get it quickly. Get it and get it quickly. Don't linger. Get it and get it quickly. Once you get that $300 celebration seed in your hand, I want you to run. Lay your seed at the altar and shout, I'm in my celebration. Get that seed in your hand. Run down here. Get that $300 seed. Get that $300 seed in your hand, run down here, lay it at the altar, and shout, I'm in my celebration. Even if you're sewing with your device, you're sewing electronically, I still want you to come and touch the altar. Lay your seat, touch the altar with your device, and shout, I'm in my celebration. That's it, that's it, run down here with that $300 celebration seed in your hand. Hey, it looks good on me. That said, run down here, run down here. It looks good on me. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. It looks good. If you're watching, I want you to get that $300 celebration seat in your hand. Run down here, lay it at the altar. It looks good on me. Touch the screen. However you're sewing, you're sewing electronically. Whatever you do, touch the screen and shout, I'm in my celebration. Run down here with that seat in your hand. Lay it at the altar and shout, I'm in my celebration. It looks good on me. Get it in your hand, get it in your hand, run. It looks good on me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks good on me. Those of you who 
sowing. I want you to keep on sowing. Keep on sowing. There's many of you who don't have that 300. I want you to get as close to it as you can. Get some type of celebration seed in your hand, whether it's 200, 150, whatever it is. Get that seed in your hand. Even put a seed in your child's hand, in the young people's hand. Everybody get a seed. Run down here, touch the altar, and shout, I'm in my celebration. Everybody, everybody. Oh, my, 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 my. It looks good on me. That's it, run down here. Lay your seat at the altar. If you're sewing electronically, touch the altar with your device and shout up in my celebration. Those of you who's sewing, who's watching, and you're sewing, when you sew, touch the screen and shout, I'm in my celebration. Get a celebration seat in your hand. Run down here. It looks good on me, on me, on me. Oh. It looks good on me, on me, on me, on me. Right down here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here and I'm here to stay. I'm here and I'm here to stay. Ain't going nowhere, where, where, where. Ain't going nowhere, where, where. I belong here, yeah. I belong here. That's it, run, run. Those of you who sewing, keep on sewing. Everybody's sewing something. But there's somebody who don't have a seat to sew at all. I still want you to come and lay your hand, touch the altar, and shout, I'm in my celebration. Even those of you who's watching, touch your screen and shout, I'm in my celebration. Everybody partake of this anointing. I'm in my celebration. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Army. That's it, get it in your head, everybody run down here and begin to shout, I'm in my celebration. I'm in my celebration. Oh yeah. If you're sewing, you can keep on sewing. Everybody's standing all over the building. Everybody's standing, everybody's standing. If you're sewing, you can keep on sewing. You're coming, you can keep coming. Lift your hands towards heaven. Everybody lift your hands. Station of my promise, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. Lift your hands, Father. We give you glory for what you have done in the lives of your people. Thank you for those who sown and those who didn't have a seed to sow. I thank you that this anointing shall rest upon their lives, that this would not just be a moment of celebration. But this would be a lifestyle of celebration. That though they may have to fight, they may have to push through some things. At the end of the day, when you have declared a word over their lives, nothing can stop it from coming to pass. So Father, we give you glory that what you said, it has been made manifest in the lives of your people. And Father, we praise you now that we are in our time, our season, our lifestyle, our turn of celebration. Now everybody all over this place, clap your hands, open your mouth, and give God.